Hi friends, today I'm going to show you a command called get and set location and these two commands will be helpful for you to set the location of the directory which you are executing all those scripts or the commands in the PowerShell. So let's go to the PowerShell here. So let's go to the help of the get location. So these are the syntax which was given that is you can just get the information about the current working location or the location stack that is if you just run this command it will just give the location of the current working directory and let's go and check the online help So you can get more information about the git location command and let's see some examples, let's execute some examples. So get location path. So let's try to execute this example. So it is showing throw in some error because the command was wrong. So here you can see the path which I'm executing the command is in the C users and when in the when then folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back. And now I'm just going to execute the command. Here you can see I'm just uh, working on the C directory. So this is how we will just use the get location command. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to use the set location, set set location. Location. So these are the examples. That is it. It says the current working location of from where you are just executing the command. So I'm just going to execute set location and path. Users and I'm just going into the in and folder. Just wait to hit enter. We see it has just executed the path and it was hmm. it's going to let's check it out so if you see just if you just set the path it will directly execute the command and it will uh, jump into the location where you have given here and if you can also confirm that by executing the command get location and it will show you the path where it was actually mentioned and let's get some registry values so so in the powershell you can also use or you can also set the registry location so that you can execute the commands there so i'm just going to it that is i'm just going to set the location as HKLM software Microsoft. So I'll just show you where it was situated. So HKLM means the HKLM. This is the key which I'm going to show you. Software folder. Since it's software and it was in Microsoft. So this is why I'm just going to set the location. I'm just going to, to hit the enter here. So the path has been 
set and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to list the keys. So here you can see all the keys which was listed here. So this is how you will just set the location or the, this is how you list the path. I'll just list it. And you can also execute one type of command that is the aliases which was by default given in the Microsoft help itself. So it is called as the PWD. So this PWD is a command which was used in the Linux. That is, it was called as a present working directory which was used in the Linux. So I'm just going to execute the command. So this is nothing but the git location command. So just see what is the aliases. So git alias is a command which was used for getting the aliases for that command. PWD. And here you can see the alias PWD was set for the command get location. So this is how you will know the aliases for this command. And uh, I will just explain this get alias command in detail in my next video. And check it out. It, it was a useful command which was used in uh, both in the Linux and also in uh, Windows PowerShell also. So let's try to execute some other examples too. And see, you can just execute this command. So, this I'm just going to get the location of this registry provider. So, this is how you will just use the get location and the set location command. And if you want to know that in detail, you can just go to the help uh, browser format in your uh, Microsoft website and you can get a detailed information about here. You can also just search here or you can just go to the PowerShell, just type get help, set location online to just open you the browser format of the help content in your browser and you can also check the other versions here so i think it might be helpful for you and useful for you and let's check out my next video for more windows powershell commands and thank you for watching the video